Here is the Flathead County Sheriff's offer, uh, Office requesting... The Flathead County Sheriff's Office is seeking help from the public with getting any possible information that may help with the active investigation into fires that were started in the county. We have included maps of the approximate locations of the fires, which are labeled A, B, C, D, and E. All fires were extinguished. Fire A set 7-31-2022, approximately 3.50 p.m. Auction Road, approximately three-quarter mile east of Highway 93, South Kalispell. Fire B, same date, same time, 3.50 p.m. Intersection of Wiley Dyke Road and North Summers Road, South Kalispell. Fire C, same date, same time, 3.50 p.m. Big Fork Stage Road. Approximately three-quarter miles south of Highway 83, Swan Highway in Big Fork. Fire D, same date, same time, 3.50 p.m. Big Fork Stage Road, approximately one mile south of Fire C. That's in Big Fork. And Fire E was the outlier. It was the next day, on August 1st. Elk Springs Lane, approximately half mile east of Highway 83, Swan Highway, in Ferndale, Montana. If you saw any suspicious activity that may be related to the fires, or if you have surveillance cameras in the areas that were recording around the times that these fires were set, please call the Flathead County Sheriff's Office Detectives Division at 406-758-5600. This is the calling that Mark failed to hear or uh, respond to appropriately. He demonstrated lack of valor, under fire, pun intended. But I thought I should make this video real quick because Mark seems to have responded. It is only now 7.48. I posted two videos titled Mark is the New Tiger Doug, and he responded to the title alone, hasn't even gotten to any of the content yet. So I was right about him. He's an obsessive compulsive, uh, an obsessive compulsive person with something like fatal attraction, stalker material. That's why I blocked his account from commenting long ago. So it is now 7.48 p.m., as you can see in the upper left corner, and at 7.33 he responded, I just got your notification. You're wrong for this, man. You are not who you think you are. That's okay. I can let go of you just as I can anything else because I am badass. Excuse me while I sharpen my swords. When I made that video today, I hadn't seen this that says your apology needs to be as loud as your disrespect was. But I'm going to show you what... What I had seen and what he's referring to when he talks about my disrespect is right here in this video. Then the morning comes at about 59 minutes is where my loud disrespect for which I owe him a public apology that needs to be just as loud as the disrespect. You can see what I said about him at 59 minutes into this video that will be linked in the description. That's where his grievance comes from. And since I made two videos titled Mark is the New Tiger Doug, I figured out I'd show you this. Says, dude, I just finished watching that video where you showed all my pictures and made me out to look like some kind of jackass. I never said anything to you about the black dots because that wasn't what I was showing you. You said the one looked like a bug and I agreed that yes, that's possible, especially since I was standing in my effing garden. Do you need me to send you screenshots of the conversation to remind you, which he did. He sent me screenshots of our text message conversation. Then sit there and say that you're tired of people showing you clouds and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Fuck those black dots. 
what I was showing you is way more significant than black dots. But no, you seem to be caught up in yourself to realize that. You're losing it, Jeff, and your ego is taking hold of you. You better take it easy before you find yourself in a boat that ain't sailing nowhere. You seriously need to check yourself, and quite frankly, you owe me a public apology. I've been nothing but nice and loyal to you, and that's how you want to do me? I'll give you one chance to make it right and let it go, because that's the kind of person I am. If you choose not to, I won't be saying best of luck to you because you you will have shown your true colors to me and wishing you luck would be futile. That was messed up, dude, and you need to snap the fuck out of it. Good night. Yeah, a little bit of homoerotic fucking obsessive uh, compulsive behavior going on here, eh? So when I made that video today showing that Mark is the new Tiger Doug and he deserves that roasting 10 times more than Tiger Doug ever did... All I knew was the video, the text he sent me last night. After I made that video, I checked my messages to find out he thinks that uh, I need to apologize and that my apology needs to be as loud as my disrespect. You look at 59 minutes in that video, you'll see that what I said, I think I even apologized as I was saying it. Sorry for talking condescendingly to you, but I like the spirit of full disclosure and I've been jerked around enough to know when uh, someone's jerking me around. This is what he said when he got nothing more than the title that Mark is the new Tiger Doug. Wait till he sees the content. Just thought I'd fill you guys in with a timely response because that was sent at 7.33 p.m. It is now 7.53 p.m. And I posted that video less than five minutes before he responded. So he definitely did not have time to see any of the content. Just the title caused him to say he's going to sharpen his swords. You must forget who you're talking to, Mark. All of your threats about me being in a ship that'll be sailing nowhere and that wishing me luck will be futile. And sharpening your swords, you must forget who you're talking to. You got no fucking clue, little boy. This is what matters. Not someone disrespected me and failed me an apology. I'm so offended. Get the fuck out of here, you low-life piece of shit. You owe the world an apology for the knowledge that you had in your possession when the sheriff's office asked for anyone with information about those fires. And you sat on your ass. For that you will pay dearly.